Hey guys, John Smith here for jsports100jmsports.org. How's it going? It's been a while since I've done this, so let's see if I still can. We're here at Picks for January 22nd, 2012. Happy Monday to you. Before we get to everything, I do want to say thank you to the few people who uh, did message me and say it's not like you to not see your face, uh, not show your face on YouTube for a few days. Um, are you okay? Uh, yes and no. Um, physically I'm fine, um, there's nothing wrong with me, I'm not sick or anything, uh, I don't know, uh, but me and the girlfriend were just having some problems and, um, we were trying to get work through them and I just didn't have the will or the want or the need to really go on cam, I knew I had a bullet at my, at my, um, at, you know, the opportunities with bulletin. Uh, plus, you know, I couldn't post my website, so I didn't really feel the need to make a video to post on the website when all you guys here on YouTube can just look at the bulletin. Um, so, but thanks my friend Patrick, I think we do have the website problem figured out, so I should be able to publish it. I do not have records updated for this video, uh, well, I need a haircut. Um, I don't have records updated for this video, and because I haven't really updated them in a few days, plus, you know, I picked on Saturday, and there were 40 games to pick on Saturday, that's another thing, too. I posted it in the bulletin, however, I did not realize, I was not aware of this, that there was a, uh, I thought about it, you know, about three quarters of the way through, and I thought, uh, screw it, I might as well keep going now, uh, a character limit, I didn't even think about there being a character limit, uh, on bulletins, but there is, and so we went well past that with the 40 games, um, and the 500 character limit there, uh, so it didn't save, but I do have it actually sitting right in front of me, all the picks, um, so I will uh, eventually go through them um, and update records. Probably in a little bit here, um, as I listen to the Collins show on ESPN Radio. Uh, I can say this, we went 0-2 in championship games yesterday, we'll put that in a bullet into. Uh, um, I'll talk about that. Maybe tonight, um, depending on how things go with the girlfriends, but maybe tonight I'll start doing a mini version of the Bingham Sports Show. Mini, not a big one. The mini one. Uh, the big one won't be for, for a while yet. I'm supposed to be going to see him in a couple weeks, but right now um, I'm focused on that. 12 days to be exact. Anyway, uh, let's get to some picks. Let's kick things off in the NBA. No picks were made yesterday except for the championship games. Um, but let's just get back to the picks for today, and here we go. Let's start an example from Washington, Philadelphia. Give me the Sixers. Give me the Magic to beat the Celtics. Uh, Spurs to beat the Hornets. Give me the Bulls over the Nets, Atlanta, and Milwaukee. Give me Milwaukee, right city, wrong hat, wrong logo. Give me the Bucks to beat the Hawks, uh, Houston and Minnesota. Give me the Timberwolves to beat the Rockets, Detroit and Oklahoma City. Give me the Thunder, Phoenix and Dallas. Give me the Mavs to beat the Sun, Sacramento and Portland. Give me the Trailblazers to beat the Kings. And Memphis and Golden State. Give me the Grizzlies beat the Warriors. Um, let's move now to college basketball. And then I want to say one more thing. Um, something that I've been thinking about doing. So let's get to college basketball really quickly here. And um, let's go to the right part of college basketball. Of course, the big news of the weekend. Number one, Syracuse goes down to Notre Dame. Syracuse looks to bounce back tonight as they take on Cincinnati at 7 o'clock Eastern Time on ESPN. Definitely a game I'll be tuned into. I've got Syracuse to bounce back. Um, and then following that, uh, it's a double header on ESPN tonight. I'm looking forward to it. Texas A&M, 6 on number 7, Kansas. I am going to go with Kansas in that game. Now we get to the rest of the NCAA Division One games. And unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, because it doesn't take that long, but I do have to say this in every video now, um, because people do ask kind of time. How do I pick what other Division One games I am going? How do I decide what other Division One games I want to pick? Games are on ESPN three, ESPN U, uh, ESPN two, ESPN, CBS. Um, they all get picked. Um, whether they're all the all top twenty five games get picked, and then the any games that are lit, that are televised or televised or internetized, and that's not even a word, but oh well. Um, on any of the stations I mentioned, get picked as well. Uh, I do not mention the stations or anything, um, so you'll have to check local listings yourself for that. Uh, Towson and Delaware. 
give me uh, Delaware next up. We have Northeastern and Old Dominion. Give me Old Dominion. Uh, North AT and T, uh, North A North Carolina AT and T rather takes on uh, Coppin State, and I'm gonna go with Coppin State or Coppin State. Um, Arkansas Pine Bluff takes on Prairie View A and M. Give me Prairie View A and M. And last but not least, Mississippi Valley State takes on Texas Southern. Give me Mississippi <coughs> Valley State. Um, as far as college basketball games, I'm gonna continue to pick them straight up, uh, but. As far as NBA, I'm thinking about maybe leaning towards the spread. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, if anybody actually watches this video, uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think I should lean towards the spread or or uh, stick with the way it is. So, like I said earlier in the video, provided things go well between me and the girlfriend tonight, which they should, uh, or today, which they should, I hope, maybe. Uh, I gotta call her in just a little bit here, too. Um, uh, mini version of the JM Sports Show tonight. Basically, it's going to be talking about the uh, NFC AFC Championship game. Um, I'm probably not going to do a Super Bowl preview until the Friday night before the Super Bowl. Maybe. After I um, get down with my girlfriend and get settled in and stuff. Um, maybe I'll do it then. Maybe I'll decide to do it early. Maybe I'll do it. Um, I guess it'd be Saturday. Maybe I will do it Friday before the Super Bowl, or I don't know, I'll do it sometime. Uh, don't know if gonna, don't know if I'm gonna do anything for the Pro Bowl. Actually, you know what? I am gonna do something for the Pro Bowl. Maybe this week. Um, I've got a rant about it that I'm kind of brewing up. I've already had. I've um, before I started recording here on YouTube, I just posted. I typed stuff out, and I was basically a, a writer, uh, and. Did stuff that way on my plate, and that was one of the stories I did. I did a story on Pro Bowl and what I thought the NFL should do about the Pro Bowl. So maybe I'll um, change that to words. I don't have the actual story anymore. I threw it away, so I have to re you know I have to just redo it. But um, so yeah, but what I'm probably gonna start doing is actually typing out like almost like a script for myself first, because I seem to do better when I write this stuff. Anyway, uh, and also like I said, records will be updated soon. So. Um, an update record probably in just a little bit here. Wish me luck. I've got over 40 college basketball games. Over 40. I don't really remember the last time I, I um, put down, took down the record. So, uh, wish me luck, guys. Hopefully, uh, mini version of the JM Sports Show debuts tonight. I'm out. Peace. Oh, by the way, one more thing. I can't believe I forgot this one. Or I almost forgot it. I'm glad I didn't. But I felt really, really bad. Um,. Of course, one of the biggest stories to hit yesterday, uh, Joe Paterno. Uh, rest in peace, Joe Pop. It is, it's amazing how how fast everything has transpired with with everything out uh, of Penn State and Jerry Sandusky and the the uh, child sex abuse thing and um, you know him getting the cancer and, and losing his life. So, uh, rest in peace, Joe Paterno. He'll always still be a legend of Penn State. Um, although it might be a little bit tarnished, I think with time. Um, people will, will remember him more for his legacy at Penn State. Alright, so rest in peace, Joe Pa, and that's going to do it for me, guys. Long video, I'm out.